Nearman Condition, the home of Collected oh, Edition. That cover is so awesome. Absolute format is the best way to own this store. Time to empty those wallets and fill those shelves. How's it going, all you mentees? teach Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition. Yahoo! They say Yahoo or Woo. Anyway, I'm not going to keep going with the country accent. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about my top 20 most wanted DC Omnis. So, stay tuned. And welcome back, everybody. Feels like I've been doing this for about five or six years now, where I talk about my most wanted Omnis, whether it's DC or Marvel. Last year, I changed it up a little bit. I did top 10 absolute editions, and then some of my most wanted Marvel Gallery editions. By the way, the list here will not include any Batman or Batman-related titles, just like the Marvel list you'll see next week will not include any X-Men or X-Men-related titles. Those I will do in a separate video. Top 10 Batman Omnis and top 10 uh, X-Men Omnis or X-Men-related Omnis. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about some books that I would love for DC uh, to collect in omnibus format. I give you the choice of covers that I've chosen and also what's collected in there. So I even map it. I love doing this stuff and I get to share it with you all every year. So before going any further, please don't forget to smash that like button. That goes a long way for us here on the channel. And yes, I was not going to wear the cowboy hat the entire time just for the intro. It's, it's fun, you know. It's fun. All right. I would love to know what your list would be. This is in no particular order. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what your top 20, your top 10, your top one would be, whether you agree or not with the list, what you would have included. And every year is a little bit different. I never go back and rewatch my videos, but I know some of these didn't make it last year. And some of them are coming out in omnibus format. Like we have Hitman coming out in omnibus format freaking awesome. And in the past I've done Mark Wade's flash and things that have actually come out or coming out so i love doing this every year and i will continue doing this every year all right let's go ahead and start with my number 20 so i know this is a countdown that's right i do I, I do this as a countdown it goes from 20 to 1 number 1 being my most wanted what the hell am i talking about now let's go ahead and get started with number 20 kicking off the list of 2023's most wanted dc omnis Madame Sanadu by Matt Wagner Omnibus. This is one that has beautiful artwork in there by Amy Reader, and it's all written by the phenomenal Matt Wagner, and it tells the story of this character. By the way, the mapping is down here. I'll put the what is collected somewhere down here. And it, it's, it's a character that has been around for a while. She later on joined the Justice League, but her Justice League Dark, but her story starts way, way before that. And this is kind of her history. This is a series that came out, I believe, in 2008, and it didn't last very long, so they could do it all in one omnibus. Uh, Richard Friend doing some of the stuff in here too, but, uh, but all written by Matt Wagner, and that's how I'm going to kick off the list. Number 19, one that's been on the list before, I know, but The Warlord by Mike Grell. This is the story of Travis Morgan, who is a USAF lieutenant colonel, crash lands on Skartaris, and it's a world inside of the Hollow Earth. And pretty much it's the story of your man out of place and time. I guess it's in Isekai, if you will, <laughs> but done long before then. Uh, but there were more issues that followed after Mike Grell left the book, but I wanted to focus mainly on Mike Grell's stories, and it would take two Omnis, so volumes one and two. And right now, I mean, with Conan being so popular, I think I say this every year, why not cash in in another world of sword and sorcery? We've had Mike Grell's Green Arrow run, and now we need some Warlord love. Number 18, speaking of Green Arrow, Green Arrow, the Connor Hawk Omnibus. And I've got this mapped into two Omnis. Uh, down here is what's collected in here. And I decided to call it the Connor Hawk Omnibus, even though it doesn't kick off with Connor Hawk. Because I feel like if we call it the Chuck Dixon Omnibus, even though he wrote a majority of the issues in here, DC will only collect those issues. But I want the whole thing. 
This is the stories that happened after Mike Grell left the book. So kicking it off with issue 81, including all the way to the one millionth epi uh, episode, one millionth comic. You've got Chuck Dixon, Kevin Dooley, Alan Grant, Doug Mensch, Kelly Puckett, wonderful artwork by Jim Aparo. And of course, this is when Connor Hawk becomes the new Green Arrow, taking over Ollie. So what happened to Ollie? One way to find out. Well, I guess, no. <laughs> there, actually, there are no trades of Where Angels Tread. I don't think there's a collection of that yet. There is a canceled collection that was supposed to come out about five or six years. Maybe it was four years ago, but they canceled that trade paperback. And I would love to see this stuff collected in there. Uh, big, I was a big fan of this era of Green Arrow. And even though it starts off with Oliver Queen, it does become Connor Hawk. All right, Superman, time and time again, plus Panic in the Sky. This is one of those triangle year omnis that takes place pretty much in the aftermath of the Superman Exile omnibus and right before Death and Return. I would love to see this stuff collected in an omnibus format and just pretty much plugging in those missing gaps that we need on our shelves if they've already given us a exile omnibus and a death and return i hope they had mapped this out to fit in between armageddon 2001 omnibus not regarded as one of the best stories but i don't care we've had event omnis at dc and we've had zero hour collected and i think it's time that we get armageddon 2001 um, I have fond memories of this and the early days of the internet, what we heard that they changed the ending because the internet figured out, even though we weren't calling it the internet back then, figured out the ending, wh who Monarch was supposed to be. I've also included the stories that followed up after Armageddon 2001. So Armageddon 2001, by the way, if you're not familiar with it, I mentioned Monarch. Uh, it's this big crossover, uh, it's a crossover event in 1991, uh, from DC Comics. It started off with pretty much your Alpha and Omega, so issue one and two, and it went through all of the annuals of DC, with the exception, I think, of a was it Legion of Superheroes, if I'm not mistaken. It all revolves around this character named Monarch, who is the tyrant of this possible future. And I want to say it's not even that far into the future, like maybe a hundred years, maybe not even that much, maybe like 50 years. But one of these characters from the future travels back to present time, present time in 1991 to warn everybody about this upcoming evil and what he finds out is that it's one of earth's heroes during that time that will become the character of monarch i've also included things in here like the follow-ups the uh it's the aftermath titles the what are they called the alien agenda and inferno in here armageddon inferno because i figured there's nowhere else we're going to collect those but i would love to see that collected sure why not? We've had other events. Hellblazer by Jamie Delano Omnibus. And the way I've got this mapped, it has the Morrison and Gaiman stories in there from 25 through 27. But this is the stuff that predates the Garth Ennis run. And I just don't want any more missing issues. I'd love to see if we're going to see Hellblazer collected in Omnibus format. I guess we're going to have to do it in a creator centric way because that's the way we kicked it off with Garth Ennis's run. And we're not done with events because I also want to see Underworld Unleashed collected in here. I'm surprised we don't have this. We have a trade paperback of this. We don't even have a trade paperback of Armageddon 2001. Uh, but this is the return of Neron to the DC Universe and how he is just manipulating all the supervillains across the DC Universe. So there are some changes in here. Uh, there's a lot of one-shots. This would be a big book. There's a lot of titles that are collected in here for this particular event. But a lot of titles also that have never had any kind of collection, like Extreme Justice or Primal Force or Guy Gardner Warrior. We need some of that. But I would love to see this collected. All right. Number 13. I'm calling this one Superman and the Justice League. We know that we have a Justice League International coming. And you all have actually talked me into the mapping of it it was during um 
Oh, actually, it was during the upcoming collected editions from DC in the catalog. So it showed up in the catalog, but we don't have the contents. We don't have what's collected in there. But you all talked me into thinking, okay, maybe we are going through the break uh, uh, breakdown. So we're going to go all the way to issue 60 of Justice League of America and then issue 36 of Justice League Europe, but also collecting Justice League quarterly through 2 through 4. And then, what, Green Lantern 18 as well as the formerly known as Justice League miniseries, the JLA classified, retroactive JLA, the 90s, and the material from JLA 80 page giant. I think that would be one big enough. So I was thinking, how in the world would they map the next one? Let's just center it around Superman until something happens to Superman. And that's why I got it mapped in here like that, including Superman number 75. So I think that would make for one hell of an omnibus. And the next one can be called uh, Wonder Woman and the Justice League. Just to keep it going. and Because we don't really have a Justice League International Volume 4. That's not what it was really known for at the time. Because then we can start adding things like Extreme Justice in those. Uh, number 12, Mark Wade's Flash Volume 2. No word in the catalog yet. Maybe when this video comes out, there'll be one. Uh, but the way that I have it mapped makes room for just one more omnibus. We know that we're getting a Grant Morrison and Mark Miller Deluxe Edition collection. So it makes me think that they've already planned around that. Because Grant Morrison and Mark Miller took over the book while Wade went over to do Justice League. Or JLA, sorry. And then they switched back. But yeah, I, I think we'll have one more. It will not collect the Morrison and Mark Miller run. But it'll be... Pretty much mapped around that particular run. Oh man. I know we have an omnibus or a compendium coming out. My number 11 is Green Lantern Kyle Rayner Omnibus. Now if you look at my mapping, it's a little bit different. It adds some things that was not included in the compendium. But it's Kyle Rayner and he really deserves an omnibus. And it was Ron Mars at first. I would love to see this collected all the way through Judd Winnick, all the uh, what, Power of Ion stories. I would love to see this uh, collection come out. But who knows? I mean, the compendium is a start, so maybe, maybe one day. Number 10, I thought about putting this as a Batman-related omnibus, but I was like, you know what? I think she's bigger than that in this particular era. We have a question omnibus. That was one of my most wanted, one and two. And we have a volume two coming out. But I want a Rene Montoya question omnibus. And if you look through the mapping here, it's pretty much all the little mini series uh, that started in with the, uh, it started with material from some of the 52, um, the post Infinite Crisis maxi series. But it tells one hell of a story as Greg Rucka was telling about how Rene Montoya became the new question. I would love to see that collected some sometime. Number nine, Wonder Woman by William Messner Loeb's Omnibus. We know we're getting a flash by William Messner Loeb's Omnibus next year. And I hope that we get a Wonder Woman by William Messner Loeb's. You got wonderful artwork in here from Mike Deodato Jr. And beautiful covers by Brian Boland. You also have the beginning of Artemis. Like this is when her quest begins and including the miniseries in there with artwork by Ed Bennis. That's, I, I have to say that one, has probably made it on my most wanted DC Omnis list for a few years now. All right, Teen Titans Omnibus Volume 1, or no, okay, number 8, Teen Titans Omnibus Volumes 2 and 3. This is the post-Jeff Johns era, and as you can see from the mapping, I want to include the Gail Simone and Rob Liefeld issues from 27 through 28 that had Hawk and Dove. But this collects the rest of this wonderful series, including all the mini uh, series that like Terror Titans and Wonder Girl and Cyborg. And I think we could even add year one in here. I love this era of Teen Titans. It's kind of the era when I started coming back to comics and it hooked me. It's got the post Infinite Crisis stuff in here. And the Titans East storyline that was kind of kickstarted. No, it was kickstarted by Jeff Johns, but wrapped up later on by Adam Beechin. Oh, love this series collected. Number seven is Jonah Hex by Palmiotti and Gray Omnibus, Volume 1. That We only have one Jonah Hex in Deluxe Edition hardcover. And it was supposed to be an omnibus, but it's the classic stuff. 
I would love to see this era because this is so underrated. The trade paperbacks are long gone. And I think it doing the story justice would mean putting it in a big, beautiful, oversized hardcover format. I mean, it could be broken down into two volumes because we're talking about a little over 60 issues. All right, number six. We know we're getting an Aquaman by Peter David Omnibus. Hells yes. Uh, but now, number six, I want this to take the spot. Aquaman New 52 Omnibus Volume 2. We had a Jeff Johns Omnibus that covers the first half of Aquaman when he was kicking it off in the New 52 era. But now, I want the rest of the run collected in there. So you have stuff in here from Jeff Parker, Charles Soule, and Dan Jurgens. Just to wrap up that New 52 era of Aquaman that was kickstarted by Jeff Johns. All right, we know we're getting a Peter David Young Justice Omnibus and Aquaman Omnibus. So why the hell not? Supergirl by Peter David, volumes one through three. This is how I have it mapped with her early appearances. And then later on with the story of Matrix. And oh my gosh, I would love to see this collected in an omnibus format. I think it's well due time that Supergirl, it, it's a phenomenal series if you've not read it. They might be able to squeeze this into two Omnis, but I've just played it safe and put three Omnis. Number four, Suicide Squad by John Ostrander, Omnibus Volumes 1 and 2. This is the stuff that is an inspiration for the movie, especially that second movie by uh, James Gunn. And we're getting a Gail Simone Secret Six Omnibus. I would love to see the original stuff collected. I would love to see John Ostrander's stories in there, including in here in the mapping that you're seeing is the Millennium miniseries, because I think it plays a big part in, in, in the story. So I could not leave that out. Number three. Wow, this one I think was number 20 last year. Shade the Changing Man Omnibus. This is the Peter Milligan era. You had Chris Bocciolo on artwork for the first half of the book. This is about an alien from the planet Meta who becomes stuck in the body of, uh, what was his name, Troy Grenzer, who's a serial killer. And it's a freaking amazing story about the relationship between Shade and this lady named uh, Kathy. And Kathy's parents were killed by the serial killer, Grenzer. Oh my gosh, it's such a good story underrated series there i don't think they've did anything past two or three trade paperbacks but they're old and long and gone number two where is this this is the second wonder woman book but i love a greg rocca omnibus and i'm talking about pre-infinite crisis including what kicked it off what kicked off his run was the hecatea but i also included why the hell not the uh, Rebirth era, because that is so good with wonderful artwork by not just Liam Sharp, but the freaking phenomenal Nicola Scott. And my number one, which I think has been number one for years, Superman, Man of Steel Omnis, baby, one and two. Give me that classic John Byrne era right before the Triangle years. Then we can talk about the Triangle years. You teased us five years ago, DC. Then you took it off the catalog and you gave us some hardcovers. Now, that was four years ago. So, make it so, please. Oh, I would love to have this in a big deluxe oversized hardcover. You could do it in two Omnis. We've got four standard size hardcovers. Two Omnis would cover it for sure. Now, when and if these books ever come out, check out our sponsors. If you're in Europe and you're interested in buying these books, definitely check out Walt's Comic Shop in Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices, flat shipping rate of 12 euros for all EU countries, emails answer within 24 hours, waltzcomicshop.com, and you can use the code near mint condition at checkout and get free shipping for all EU countries with your first order over 40 euros. That's Waltz Comic Shop, your reliable source for omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. Ding! CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you minties. If you're a first-time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, 
reply back to that email and let them know near mint condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was my countdown of my top 20 most wanted DC Omnis. Let me know in the comments down below what you would love for DC to collect in omnibus format. And don't forget to smash that like button on the way out. And check out our other videos. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you've got that little bell click. Uh, make sure to let you know when our videos are going live. But that's it for me. Let me know what other lists you want to see. And make sure you come back when I do my most wanted Marvel Omnis, most wanted Batman Omnis, and X-Men related Omnis. And I'll probably do Absolute and Gallery Editions. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Make sure, though, to leave those comments down below what other lists you want to see. That's it, everyone, for me. Everyone, stay healthy and safe out there. Much love. <laughs>